Are you recording? Hey everyone, today is not our typical fishing video. Uh, today we will be filleting a rainbow trout that I caught earlier today. Uh, I think this is probably about as perfect an eating size as you can get for a rainbow trout. Yeah, we're gonna be doing skin on fillets today. Nice and easy to eat, don't have to pick through any bones. Yeah, let's begin. So first off, our materials. A scaler makes all of these jobs extremely easy. It's got these teeth over here that pull off every single scale on the fish. Especially with the trout, it's super easy to do. Even a regular knife will do. The scales just come off completely. Make sure you have a nice, clean surface to do this on. And just get all of those scales off of the, off of the fish. Also, make sure your fish is dead before you start doing this, because that would be just a little bit cruel. Underneath the fins, it's the part I forget sometimes. Right now is the perfect time of year to catch these fish. They're nice and freshly in the river. They start running beginning of November all the way through to April, May. The month of November, December, and then March, April. Definitely the best time to get these fish in the river if they are so hungry. I caught just this one today, but I lost another four, and one of them was huge. That's all right, because the bigger ones aren't really that great for eating anyway. And we're good to go. I'll just wash off your fish. These guys get pretty slippery, so careful not to drop them. It's also a good idea always to clean off your work surface. Now, since this is a trout and the scales come off pretty easily, we have most of them. We'll just make sure we have the rest of them. Just go over with a knife real quick. And now we can start our fillet. Get all the meat off of this fish without having to deal with any bones. So how I do it is I start by the head, cut it just until I feel the spine. And then you just go downwards, not too hard, so we don't break through that spine line. But also make sure to cut downwards constantly. Sometimes you can start on the other side. Like I've done, so we'll flip the fish. Always lightly downwards. We're just making a small cut on the top of the fish, all the way in. And you'll feel the bones and that's when you stop applying so much pressure. And then I punch out where the tail is. You can just cut downwards. You can feel those pin bones. Those are right on the spine. Those will come out with pliers later. Just cut downwards along the spine to the end of the tail. Oh, we actually got some of the tail there. That can just come off later. Yeah, so we just keep cleaning down until you can see the spine and then just keep following the bones lightly downwards and you'll peel back all of that meat off of the fish. This isn't the cleanest job that I've done. <laughs> Definitely not. I kind of butchered some parts of this side but we'll try and do better on the next side. So I always just slowly there's no use of rushing yourself doing these cuts because really all you're losing is good eating meat. Oh, 
and we see we actually have a female, female salmon. And uh, potentially we may actually cure these eggs with borax, use these for, for more trout fishing. Yeah, so now we just cut the filet up. There we go. We will cl be cleaning this up for sure. And we'll be getting the pinwheels out still. But we will set this one aside for now. We will just use a cup right now. Let's collect this row. I'm gonna be searching up if potentially I could use this as bait. If not, it'll go to waste. That's okay. This is actually a very popular Eastern European delicacy, but it's not one that I've actually ever tried to make myself. I don't know if I'd want to try my hand at making it. All right, we just flip her over. And we do the same on the other side. So the second cut is always just a little bit tougher because you need to know where to start. And actually our deeper tail cut will help us with that. Well, we'll trim it up later. Look at all those eggs that are coming out. I'll just make a deeper cut by the head. Just so we have somewhere for our filet to come off of. And these guys are just a little bit slippery. And I try and get as much of that tail meat as possible because there's a lot of good eating meat. But after a certain point, it just gets very, very thin. And it's not the easiest job and it doesn't come the cleanest. have a second trout filet. This all here is bone, everything else is innards. Just a little bit of waste on the stomach, that just comes with filleting a fish. Not the cleanest job, but you know what? It's actually not that bad. So we will set this aside for now. The rest of that is waste. There's a lot of row. Now we're just cleaning the fillets up. So, set them aside. Clean up your work surface. Obviously anyone who's clean fish knows it gets just a little bit messy, but hey, what can you do? We'll just clean our filet up as well. Put it down. And we're just trimming a little bit of the tail and this fin here. Overall, there's our filet. We just clean up our second filet. And again, cut that fin off. Now we move on to the pin bones. And those require a plier or pair of pliers. Yeah, so now it's time for the pin bones. So if you run your hand towards the tail end of the filet, about 
one third of the way from the top of the fish, you'll feel this line of pin bones here. And some people just leave them in. They don't bother them. If you do want to remove them, what you would do is just follow the line and get a pair of pliers. Needle nose would be a little bit better than these, but these work too. And you just grab the bone. And sometimes they don't want to come out, especially when the fish is fresher. They're a little bit harder to take out. And they come out, they look like that. If you're, if you're making fish for a dinner party, something like that, people don't want bones stuck in their teeth, you can just pull them out. I personally don't mind them too much. But just to show you guys. Oh. That's what they look like. And they come out easy. But for my purposes, I'm going to leave them in. Because they just don't bother me too much. But that's how you would do it if you were trying to pull them all out. And there we go. We have two nice rainbow trout fillets. Could have, it could have been done just a little bit better, but you know what? It is what it is. If you really wanted to, you can clean them up a little bit. I don't really see the need to. This is just, you know, my family eating these. If you work in a seafood market, maybe you want to clean them just a little bit. But with that, thank you for joining me. I'll be off to cook these as soon as possible because they look delicious. Hope you're having a good time. My Instagram is here, Alex's and Joseph's are here. Thanks to John for recording the video too. And uh, we will see you on the next one.